Tibulus Elegies, Book 2, Part 4 Slave to a mistress, yes, in recognition of my fate, bidding now farewell to the freedom of my birthright, I accept the harshest slavery. For I am held in chains, and never to my sorrow does love relax the bonds. He burns me too, regardless of my guilt or innocence. I'm burning now. Ay, cruel girl, remove the torch. Oh, that I need never experience this torment. I'd sooner be a stone on some cold mountainside, or standing rock exposed to mad gales, buffeted by the lonely seas, ships splintering waves. Bitter now the daylight, still more bitter the dark night. Every moment now is soaked in sour gall. Elegies and Phoebus, poet's patron, are no help. My lady cups her hand and keeps demanding cash. Leave me alone, O oh muses, if you cannot help a lover. I do not ask your aid to sing of epic wars, nor do I track the sun god's path or tell how the moon, her round completed, turns her steeds and gallops back. By poetry, I look for easy access to a mistress. Leave me alone, O oh muses, if your magic does not work. I must take to crime and bloodshed to provide her with the gifts that save me from those weeping vigils at her door, or steal the sacred offerings hung up on temple walls, and Venus shall be the first to be profaned. She tempts me to do evil and devotes me to a grasping mistress, she deserves to suffer sacrilege. Death to all the dealers in green emerald, to all who dip the snow white sheep in Tyrian murex. They and Cohen silks and lucent pearls from the Red Sea, these are the incentives of avarice in girls. This is why they're faithless, why doors experience keys and why a dog keeps guard upon the entrance. But if you bring big money, the guards make no resistance, nor do keys exclude, and even the dog is dumb. Alas, whichever god it was gave grasping woman beauty. What a good he added to a load of ill. Hence the noisy tears and quarrels Hear the reason why love is now a god of evil reputation. But you who lock out lovers, outbidden in your auction, may wind and fire rob you of the money you've amassed. Yes, and may the young men laugh to see your goods ablaze, and no one busily throw water on the flames. Death, alas, will come for you, but there'll be none to mourn or share the cost of your sad funeral. But any kind and generous girl can live a hundred years and tears will still be shed beside her pyre. Some elder man in fond remembrance of his former love each year will bring her flowers to the grave and as he leaves will say, sleep soundly and in peace and earth be light on your untroubled bones. True prophecy, and yet what help to the true prophet? Love's worship means obedience to her laws. Why, even if she bade me sell my ancestral home, I'd pack the laddies off under a bill of sale. All Circe's magic potions all media's drugs, and all the herbs that sprout in Thessaly, horse madness too, that exudation from the mare in the season when Venus breathes her longing into wild herds, and a thousand other simples brewed by Nemesis, I drink if only to find favour in her eyes.